Now, that whole accusation that came about Jay-Z, we all know the verse that came out where he said, you know, F the haven for caving. That's why we don't speak. Made, made many supposed to make statements. And this stems from the case that you, and correct me if I'm wrong, was on with Emory Jones, who was another friend of Jay-Z. Um, and pretty much, you know, him getting fed time and you not getting any time at all. Is this where the whole snitch allegation stem from? Because at one point you said at the streets, word on the street that it was a snitch. Can you speak on that? Yeah. Um, um, me, myself, per se, I don't really think that he was talking about any fed case or any type of, you know, snitching towards the police. I think he was um, speaking on, the, you know, our situation. You know what I'm saying? It, it may, but the way he carried it, you know what I'm saying, indirectly was more dangerous because, you know, people don't know. You know how these streets is. So they just hear, you know, cave in and, 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 and snitch like that. You know what I mean? They run with it. But it should have just been obvious that he was talking about the YouTube because one of his main partners is, you know, one of his main people, Emery, is my co defendant. You know what I'm saying? Um, he could have easily, you know, said, yo, this man is not no snitch. This man, you know, he not talking about that. You know what I'm saying? Instead, you know, he was on hush time. So right then and there, you know what I'm saying? That's a violation. You know, just to say that, you know, for him not to step up with the relationship me and Emery had, to be like, yo, man, you know, he ain't talking to so me. I know he said that out of anger and all that, man. It wasn't about no no um felony, you no know, fair shit, man, because he already knew, you know, what Emery stood for. And I was my co-defendant. You know, and everybody feel like, yo, because Emery done time and I didn't, you know what I'm saying? And that made it look kind of suspect too. But, you know, real talk, I did my own case, um, handled my own business and fought all the way in trial myself. Um, and for them dudes not to acknowledge that, for even like most of the people in the street for not to acknowledge what I did for a federal trial, man, and not get you know, any salute or no homage for what that is, for people who brag about, you know, fed this, fed this, you know, I think that was extraordinary for me. And I ain't get the love for that from nowhere, from none of them. You know what I'm saying? And the fact that they was going to leave me in there, you know what I'm saying? That ain't helped neither. So, yeah, you know, that situation with the snitch, man, it ain't bothered me. I knew what he was talking about, but the streets did. And, and that's just every reason, that, you know, for the people to look at it like, yo, sometimes, you know, it's fraudulent, some of the shit that he do, you know. Um, would I wish that on anybody, calling them a snitch, knowing what that do to their credibility? You know what I'm saying? Nah. Um, how it's supposed to go? Nah, dude. You know, you're supposed to show paperwork. You're supposed to, like, all of that, we should have known when there wasn't no paperwork involved that, you know, Jay wasn't talking about no snitch shit. We all know a person on that caliber could have got his hands on any kind of paperwork. He could have got his hands on anybody I told on. So we all knew that that was fraudulent, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, this generation to give him a pass because he got bread, he got money. And that's just how it is now. Mm. Em Cut that up. Yeah, like yeah, definitely my fault. Emery, Emery Jones. Now, I know without giving too much away, because I know you um, talk about it on the documentary, where do you and Emery stand now and – Correct me if I'm wrong. You guys were supposed to have a conversation once everything cleared. You guys got out and everything like that, right? Yeah. Um, Emery, man, from day one, bro. Like, since he was 14, 15, I know Emery. I know Emery. I'm the one who introduced him to Jay. You know what I'm saying? So, um, having this situation with Emery is, 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 is another, like, little brother Jay situation. When I grabbed Emery up, I felt the same way about Emery and the love I had for him, too. You know what I'm saying? I, I had him around my folks. I made sure he was good in safety. And um, it hurt it for him to turn his back on me. You know what I'm saying, too? Because, like I said, I put them two together. And I also was, you know, friends with Emery way before Jay. But it is what it is. He, you know, him and Jay always clicked. It didn't matter once they got together and it was all love, but for him to turn his back on me too. Um, yeah, I feel some type of way. Um, and being my co-defendant and me kind of like understanding his case, 
You know what I'm saying? I didn't, you know, I didn't think he, you know, he didn't snitch or anything. You know what I'm saying? He stood up, stole, you know, tall for what he what he had to do. But at the end of the day, that was my co-defendant. You know, um, for him to promise me while he was down, you know what I'm saying? I, the only one time that I talked to him for him to promise me, yo, you know, when I get out, you know what I'm saying? We're going to talk, you know what I'm saying? And, and we'll, we'll make this shit happen or whatever. The one time I seen Emery, he gave me that industry curve. I put the industry curve because they they just hit you with some, yo, we got to get up. You know what I'm saying? Um, this is not the right time right now, but I'm going to call you type of situation. And I ain't seen him since 11, 2011 and 12 when he did that. So, you know, he, you know, even him on some fraudulent shit, I kind of, you know, don't have no respect for him. We can't, we can't piece it up. We can't, I'm good, but I ain't got no rap for him on the, on the level of this right now. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got no animosity to him, but I can't respect on how he moved and how he carried my folks neither. So, right. you know, <laughs> it is what it is. He had a chance to come clean and we had an interview several interviews but the main interview he had on the breakfast club with Charlemagne when they asked him how he met G you know what i'm saying that right then there he had a, a chance to be clean and slate with it i ain't say the nigga he had to beg and say say my name or something but the fact of the matter they gave him the platform that they say yo well how did you meet jay mm -hmm. and he just left me as yo you know i just met him through a friend of a you know whatever like i just threw me off like i was a name that mm -hmm. right there ain't cool they ain't fly <laughs> you know what i'm saying so that just shows more of the conspiracy. You know what I'm saying? Why? I don't know. Why, you know, why they don't ask them about me? I don't know. But it just shows that, you know, it's a conspiracy. Something they got to hide. M Memphis Bleak. I'm going to talk about that. How was your relationship with him? Did you know him before Jay-Z? Or and yeah, I mentioned that was in the same building. And also, where do you think he stands in this whole situation? I'm, if I'm not mistaken, a few years back, he did address the situation um, on the hip hop blog. How do you feel about Memphis Bleak? I mean, I really don't, I don't speak on Bleak, man, cause Bleak was in Pampers, you know what I'm saying? Pretty much running around and his mother, you know, it was, was really, really good friends, best friends with my sister. You know what I'm saying? And um, Bleak, so I look at him as like a little guy. You know what I'm saying? He really don't have much to say about this situation. And he wouldn't want to get in the mix just because it's just like, it, you know, his two uh, big brothers are going at it, so he's going to stand down. You know, you know, that's my um, niece, God brother. You know what I'm saying? So that's how um, intertwined the family is with, you know, with his family too. So, I don't, you know, I don't expect Bleak to have any say on this. Um, um, I don't know what he said and what you just said about the interview, but he don't really know. He family. That's my, you know, I don't really speak on him because he he, he really can't have no barons in this. You know, so Bleak is bleak to me in the building. It's, it's, I still, you know, interact with his family. His family's still cool with my family. So it's all good. Bleak just been a little bleak to me all this time, you know. Um, I'm proud of where he went and where he going with things, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, he always stays sucker free with me, you know what I'm saying, in my family. You know, when his people's around, he come see my family, they make sure that, you know, it's, it's all good. So I don't have no situation with Bleak. Indeed. Can you do me a favor and tie it up for me? Because, um, all right, so you go into, um, go down with Emery. Is that the time where Jay did that, the foul stuff you spoke about on the documentary? Was that another incident? Um, hold, say that question over again. Let me hear All you right, say right. that again. All right, you, you, you talked about on the documentary and on the podcast a couple minutes ago how once you went down, Jay did some stuff that you're not supposed to do and violated a little bit. Was that the time where you were down with Emery as well? Is that the same time? Nah, it's not the same. Nah, okay, okay, okay. it's not the same time. I just wanted to make um, sure that was way that that was that was that was that was way prior to the Fed situation. Gotcha. Um, okay. That was way prior. Mm -hmm. Um, I this was a uh, like I said, this was down. This happened like in nine four. Okay, nine four ninety. Yeah, about ninety four. I would I had got locked up on a parole violation, and um. Yeah, so while I was down on that, when I was locked up on that, you know, 
they was out doing their thing, you know? And um, they chose to, I mean, like I said, Jay chose to really uh, go behind my back and do some foul shit. And, and that's just what it was.